Smart Hangers has lots of capabilities to smartly modify elements. Selection of hangers done with Smart Selection available. This is done by just selecting elements which has hangers or supports posted on them. For example, select a duct or duct, go to common, select hangers or supports on host element and all the hangers on element will be selected. To easily delete the hangers from all required elements, select any preferred host elements, for example ducts, pipes, conduits, cable trays or generic models and go to common, delete hangers or supports on element. If changes are made to host element, for example height of host element changes, user can select the hangers on these host elements by selecting these host elements, pressing common, select hangers or supports on host elements and then pressing common, update hangers or supports. Parameters will be changed accordingly. For more in-depth modification of hangers, there's interface for that, similar to that when inserting hangers and supports in host category viewer. It only has much more capabilities. Modify interface allows user to filter out needed elements in endless grouping and sorting ways. User can add and modify parameters, calculate elevation from host level, and much more. Interface is divided into two parts. Left pane shows host element grouping, which can be modified by going to configure grouping. Configure grouping allows to group your hangers on right pane by host element categorization, such as by level, type name, family name, etc. As host elements are grouped, Hanger information view updates by selecting the group. User can select project or name of the group such as level or family name associated with that level. On the right pane, user sees hanger instances by parameters. These parameters can be added by pressing select parameters. User can choose any available parameter for hangers and add them from left pane to right by pressing add and remove them by selecting and pressing remove. Parameters can be also filtered out to find any necessary name such as diameter. When necessary parameters are added, press OK. Now right pane has new column with preferred parameter. These parameters can be changed. If the value is in Y background, it is instance parameter. If the background is gray, this parameter is type parameter. If that parameter is constrained in family, it cannot be changed. If it is not, you can change it by selecting. If it is not constrained, you can change it by selecting, pressing right mouse button on it and press change selected parameters. User can select one or multiple parameters at a time using control or shift keys. Let's add some type mark values for hanger type. Go to select parameter, find type mark, add it to the list and press OK. Type mark is type parameter, so the hangers or supports of the type will have duplicate type mark value. Select one parameter and press right mouse button. After pressing right mouse button, press change selected parameters and enter value for example H1 and press OK. Now all hangers with that type has the H1 value. Now these can be filtered by selecting one or multiple parameters and pressing right mouse button and pressing filter by selected data. Modify window is modeless so user is able to work in project and do not close the window. These selections can be made dynamically and it is huge helper when it comes with fast management of your hanger types and instances in project. 
Using modify window user can filter out the hangers in a project and go to common, create assembly from an element. That selects all elements nested in a family or any elements hosted on the family too and adds to assembly. The assembly can be modified and used as shop drawings for hanger manufacturing.